Raise your right hand. By the power invested in me, I now appoint you traffic officer for the next 15 minutes. Thank you. All right, let's go out and... Have I got hat head or is it okay still? I'm using a brand new anti-hat head moose. Polizzi, polizzi. Head on. Now, all good traffic men have to go prepared. There's a donut. Donut? You get hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any alcohol, drugs, firearms on board? Do you want to buy any? Okay, straight through. Okay, you want the gay camping or straight camping? Huh? Straight? All right, straight ahead. They're straight. Stop, police. Oh, hi. What a nice dog. Are we on TV? Are we yep. on TV? Okay, come on back here, guys. We're just jumping off the bridge. Okay, you gotta get have, you got, that. have you got more than four people in the vehicle? No. no. Okay, carry on then. Thank you very much. Very careful. Very careful. How are you doing, bud? Good. We're having a problem with the bear on the campground. Please don't feed any animals. Don't get out of your vehicle. Bear. If you see a bear, it's the wildest thing you'd ever see. The damnedest thing. Just be real careful going in there. Already? Okay. okay. We've got Fish and Wildlife out trying to track it down right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice truck. Between the cones. Have any uh, horse water troughs or beer kegs on board? Uh, yes, we do. We have one of each. Okay. That's fine then. Proceed to the horse trough and beer keg Thank area. You. Drive carefully. Stay between the cones, please. Between the cones. What's that, sir? Chris Van. Tickets already. Oh, 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 no, not more of these. Oh boy, where did you get these tickets, folks? From the, from the Big Valley. You don't seem to remember, do you? Yeah, the Big Valley Jamboree. Where are you, where are you from? Ontario. Ontario. You're from Ontario, first time to the Jamboree? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we've had some problems. Did, did you call the 1 800 number to order these? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's the problem. There was a little bit of a fraudulent deal going on. These tickets, anyway, are not valid, but we can. Um, Say what? Yeah, these tickets aren't valid. Not at, not at this gate. They're dealing with all of these ones over to another gate. How long have you been in lineup? Long. Yeah, because there's uh, about a two-hour lineup up at the other gate, but we're going to have to send you around there. Is that all right? Well, how can you tell me these are not valid? Well, because I, I, I know that these are not valid. I, it's like, have you ever seen a fake $100 bill? No. You can't it? Well, you wouldn't. I haven't. You no, know, well, I tell you, there's something to see. But when you see them, you got to know what you're looking for. It's the same with these tickets here, but this, this is not good. How many of these have you got, dear? Us. Just these two? Oh, four. Yeah. Hi, kids. How are you doing? I ordered them. They sh shipped them to me in this envelope. They shipped them to you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you in. Um, well, you're going to let me in or I'll be... <laughs> or you'll be what? That's pretty hot. Pretty hot? We're going to yeah. get mad. Well, we're we're going get angry. Well, you're a calm guy, aren't I? Like, but... I, I'm calm too. From but from no. Ontario. What else? What else? <laughs> <are you gonna laughs> do? It's what are good to have you with us at Big Valley Jamboree. Any liquor on board? No. No? no? no. Okay. Well, Why, you're not allowed in? what is your, well, no, oh, it's okay. alcohol free event this year. Water, we used to, we used water, to have a, water. water, that's fine. We used to have a lot of booze and stuff. And what was uh, the problem is that people were not going to bed at 11 o'clock, which is when you're supposed to shut camping. down your camp. We're not camping. Okay. So we even, three days? Oh, well, you know, Sunday's canceled now. No. Well, yeah, oh, it's a two day, it's a two day event now, but Dwight Yoakum is not made. So we put the Sunday axe on, you're going to get the same number of axe, but you're going to be done a day early. Okay. Well, no, because I have to pay for a hotel for three days. Uh, tell we just tell them, that. let them know at the hotel that one day was canceled, okay? Are you serious? Well, I don't know if that, no, it's not. Serious? I wish it was a joke, but it's... You're serious. I'm it's changed as serious days. as a heart attack. Pardon me? It's, it's a two-day two festival. Two days, and you think it's your fraud. But anyway. So what are we doing now? Just head on in. I'm going to let you in, because okay. you're from Ontario. If you're from Saskatchewan or anywhere else, I'd have to turn you back. But uh, we're going to let you go. You've been on a long trip. Yeah, and we come here yeah. just for this. Eh? Well, I hate to see this. Oh, I hate to see this happen. Oh, oh, Kids, oh. how do you feel? Yeah, well, I That's hate this. What's the name of the person I spoke to? I hate to see this happen. I talked right to the office. Who, what's the uh, name of the person? Name Wendy's not with us anymore. We had to let her go. Oh. Doing, doing, she was doing some stuff on the side. What's that? My name's uh, Danny Hooper. And you're with the Jamboree? I'm, I'm, I'm not with the Jamboree. Not anymore. I'm, I look after all the security out here. Okay. My job just keep things flowing along, make sure people don't hold up traffic like like this, okay? okay. What do we do? Get dress pants now? now or? I have no, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't even work here. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye. Say forty percent off the Jerk Mouse fishing shorts by calling today. Hello, my name is Wes Montgomery. And my name is Jackie Ray Green. Greening. Greening. Jackie Ray Greening. And I'm Wes Montgomery. And I'm Jackie Ray Greening. Yes. Jackie Ray Greening. And we want you to keep listening to 790 CFCW, the best country hits of yesterday and today. In Edmonton. 
Well, all over. We got 50,000 watts, Rachel. Uh, Jackie Ray Greening. We got 50,000 watts. We go almost everywhere. If it's nighttime, they hear sometime in Montana. Oh, good. We listen all those times. Don't forget, we'll be doing a remote at the Sunnybrook Hutterite Colony on Saturday. Come on out to visit. Yes, we want everybody to come out and visit. We're going to have beer later. Well, we can't say beer on the radio, but oh, we can we're say gonna have a, a dandelion beverage. A dandelion beverage. Dandelion beverage in a jug. Later. The camera's jiggling now. There you go. All right, so this is Wes Montgomery. And Jackie Ray Greeny. Saying. Goodbye. Adios. Later. Stuff it. You mama. See you later. Hey, uh, welcome McDonald's. Take a moment, look at our menu board, decide what you want so that when we get back to you, you're not wasting a lot of our time and you can place your order quickly, all right? Okay. Okay, stand by one. Everything okay at home? Absolutely no choice but to redeputize you again this year and offer your assistance and tremendous ability that you displayed last year in directing traffic. So, by the powers invested in me, I wish to deputize you again to assist us in traffic control. Sergeant, thank you, and I'm going to do my utmost to treat this position with the responsibility that it deserves. I got one of these. Let's go. Hey, do you know where you're going? I want to find a place to park. Okay, you better, you better go find a place to get your hair done. <laughs> I don't huh? Know. It's going to be a big weekend. We'll see you. Perfect. How are you folks doing? Fine. First time at the Big Valley? Yep. All right. And do you know where you're going here? I have a clue. Okay. I'm park for the evening and then get out of here. Just stop it here. I'll park it for you. This is uh, this is valet parking, so you can get out right here, and I'll put the vehicle for it. Yeah, absolutely. Where are you going? You going to the Steak Fest? Yeah. Sure. Jump out. I'll take it for it. All right. Did you get your claim tag from this fellow, the officer, right over there? I better get yeah. my coat. Yeah. Are get you your serious? coat. Yeah. Absolutely. No problem. It's no sweat. We're happy to, happy to do it for you. We're just glad to have you here. What time will you be coming out? Probably right after the show. What is that about? Uh, the show is finished at, uh, yeah, about 12.30, so you can get the vehicle right back over here. Okay, get your ticket from the fella there. You all right? Okay, thank you. Just close the door there. We have handicap parking right over there, but you don't look... No, but I got a father who's way back there with a cane and stuff. Yeah, that's... Ain't got a, he ain't got a tag or anything. He He's broke his hip. Uh, bring him here, we'll do a test on him, we'll check the hip out. If we can verify that it's genuinely broken, then we can get him in handicap. Okay. If not, we can break it and put him in handicap for you. That sounds good. And if he's just faking it, we'll break your hip. Okay. Okay. That, that Thank good. you. We're doing a, a commercial for a check stop. Thank you. Finger. My finger was right in there. <laughs> okay, just roll it up just a little bit. Are you serious? Yeah, that's just to get it out. That's good. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? All right, let's get back here and have a talk this way. You okay? You being held against your will? Is this, is this a hostage take? You want us to take him out of here? Sure. Okay. Can we have you step out of the vehicle, partner? Huh? Sure. Come on. Here we go. All right. How are you doing? We'll just get you to stand on this. How old are you? I'm 16. 16? Okay. You're clear to go. Thank you. Don't move. Are you okay? You need water or anything? Hi. How are you doing? No. <laughs> I got a problem. I, can you give my buddy a ride here? Over here? Can you give him a lift? Into the camera? He's only 16. He won't cause you any trouble. Just jump on in there. <clears throat> okay. If we can get mom to step out. Can you step out, mom? Just let him get in there. Are you okay here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just stand right there. Jump in the vehicle. There. Okay. If we can get you pull ahead a little bit. Thanks. All right. Just stand right there. Okay. Okay. Thanks very much. <laughs> Hang on. I'll get you a ride here. Come on up. But how are you doing? doing very Good. Well. We need you to give our lady friend a lift. We'll just put her in the back there. Just holler down to her well, husband's down there in the motor. Yeah. So, stand up front. No, in the back. Come back. Yeah, come on in the back there. <laughs> They'll give you a lift. They didn't want you up front because they say you look a little bit. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Fine. You have a good time. Okay. Don't fall out. That's dangerous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you enjoy Big Valley Jamboree? Well, friends, Jack Moss with you, professional guide and outfitter. We're having a great afternoon here getting out around the campsite and visiting some people. And we found people to be extremely hospitable, and most everybody has got good camping etiquette, and they're paying close attention. They're paying close attention to camping rules. And there are a few basic rules you want to remember every time you're camping. You want to wrap your garbage, 
You want to wrap your garbage up and stuff like Hello? Jack Moss, professional guiding outfitter, are you home? Are you home? By God, I don't think anybody's it. Now, this is, here's a problem for Jack Moss. You got campers, and they got all set up here, and they've obviously gone away, perhaps for a nature hack, or perhaps use one of them fancy yellow porta potties. Problem is, they've left the door wide open now. The problem when you're out in the great outdoors is not the criminal element. You're not going to run into that, don't worry. The problem out here is black bears, rodents, and prowlers. And I'll tell you, look how stupid this any goof ought to know this. You should have had this place locked up and secured. Black bears going to walk up there, going to give it one of those, just one of those. That's all them black bears got to do now. Black bear, rip your head off. He can sure open a screen door like that. Now, come on in. Let me show you what the problem is if a black bear got into this place. Here we are inside the trailer, and you can see here inside the trailer that it's fairly neat and orderly. The campers have gone away, and they've left the place in pretty good shape. It wouldn't look this way for long if a black bear got in here. And let me tell you what, the first thing a black bear's going to do, because they just, is like they're trained to do this, is like they know. And I think sometimes them black bears watch them Walt Disney movies to figure out what they're supposed to do. They're so smart. They'd get in the trailer like this. They're not interested. The guy's got a ghetto blaster down here. Black bear ain't interested in that. Black bear's not going to be interested in this guy's little specker level that he's got here. He's not interested in any of that. He's going to go straight for the cooler. And he's going to, now remember, black bear, take your head off. I told you that. Black bear's going to whip this open, and he's going to go straight for them hot dog buns. That's what he's going to do in there, munching and chewing and stuff like that. I tell you what, Jack Moss, my job around here is to enforce basic camping rules and to help educate the public. I'm going to teach these folks a little lesson. Black bear would come in here, that bag of chips, he'd rip that open just like, he'd tear that, there I got that. And he'd make such a mess in here. I'm going to make it look like a black bear went through this trailer here. That's what I'm going to do. These folks are going to come home. They're going to be scared. And at least next time they go away, they're going to start cleaning up a little bit. And not just cleaning up. I mean, they're going to start locking up. That's what needs to be done. There, now, looks like there's been some serious damage in here from a black bear. I'm going to really teach these folks a lesson here. Get the hot dog buns. Uh, there we go. This place looks like it's been tore up pretty good. Now, black bear... He's not going to stop there. Coolers and refrigerators. That seems to be what they're trained to do. Now, Black Bear, take your head off one swipe. He can sure open a little fridge like that fridge door is not even locked. It has not got the lock and pin in there. That's another thing these campers should have known to do. Any goof ought to know that. Anyway, whip open the fridge like that. What's the Black Bear going to do? Not going to go for the bread because it's already had hot dog bun. Look at this. Holy cow. Look at that. Well, I don't know. Bear might even grab that. Okay. I'm. I'm going to teach these folks a lesson. Let's get out of here. So there you got it, friends. Jack Moss, professional guide and outfitter, telling you, please, if you're going away on a nature walk or to use a porta potty, please lock up your campsite and secure it. You cannot be too safe, especially in an area like this. It is overrun with black bears and other sorts of prowlers. Attention, this washroom is closed for cleaning. Kindly pick another stall. This washroom is closed for cleaning. Please use another outhouse. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Attention, if you are under 14 years of age, please do not use this washroom. If you are under 14 years of age, please use another washroom. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, go pee. <laughs> no, no, great. Oh, I'm sorry. Attention, sir. You are in a lady's washroom. You are in a lady's washroom. 
Okay, could have happened to anybody. <laughs> One of these is... Well, how come you don't mark? Well, we don't mark them because that way it just confuses people. Most people don't pay attention to it anyway, so we stay out here and just let them know. Okay, All right, you bet you use that one. You won't be long, will you? We got a long line up here. People want to use this one. All right. Attention, this outhouse is presently full. Please use another facility. Attention, this outhouse is full. Please use another facility. Facility. Thank you. Have a nice day. Attention. It simply cannot take any more. Please come out and find another facility. Thank you. For your own safety and sanitation, please come out of the outhouse now and find another facility. Thank you. Have a nice day. Attention, this outhouse is presently closed for remodeling. Please come out and find another facility. Thank you. Have a nice day. This is your final call. Please come out of the outhouse. Don't make us come in after you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Attention, please do not stand on the toilet seat. Thank you. Have a nice day. See, if she wasn't standing on the toilet seat, she wouldn't have sprained her ankle. Hi cowboys, hi buckaroos, Martin Martin, professional bull rider. How many times have you been on the back of a raging 2,000 pound bull and he just wants to buck, buck, buck you right out of that rodeo arena? Look at that cowboy go. Well, it doesn't have to be this way. Now you can put a secret weapon in your arsenal and your battle against the bull. And that secret weapon is the new Smart Martin S&M brand Super Grip No Slip Designer Bull Riding Glove. Look at this cowboy right now. That bull, buck, 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 but that cowboy's probably wishing he didn't spend the money because he can't let go. But the point is, the glove works every time. Get your Smart Martin Super Grip No Slip Glove today and I'll gladly send you this super large jar of glove moisturizer. Squirt a little in your glove before you ride. Eight seconds later, that hand comes out feeling soft and supple. This is Smart Martin saying, get a grip, get the glove. Hi there, you want to buy a grower's raspberry? Here, give me a loony. Money. You betcha. Quick, 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 quick. I got a toonie. Okay. Two. Yeah, I'll take two of them. They're on, they're on sale tonight, Thursday night special. Thanks. Thank you. We're raising money for the Police Benevolent Fund. Hi, friends. Jack Moss with you one more time, professional guide and outfitter. And uh, here we're going to take a look at some of the creative ways that folks are handling the inclement weather situations and especially the high winds and some of the things they're doing to kind of weigh down their tents. And here you can see what they've done. Something very creative here is that they put in a little bit of a water jug there. Now, We'll demonstrate, show you here what happens when you take the water jug up. Just take that out of there. And now watch, watch the result now when that wind comes up. There you go, you have a good old camping trip there. You have a good time. Jack Moss with you. Come on, oh, there's a fella that owns that little old tent there. That's one way to meet campers and find out who. It should have been staked down, pegged down. Any goof ought to know that. Here we're looking at a tent owned by a honeymoon couple. They're celebrating their honeymoon out here at the Big Valley Jamboree. They're really having a whooping good time in there. And I guess this is another camping tip. If you're going to be carrying on like this inside your tent, make sure the doggone thing is pegged down good or get yourself a motel room. Well, it's a pretty exciting day for Rachel and I. We just bought ourselves a brand new bus, and we're going to start ourselves a touring company, a travel agency. What are we going to call the travel agency that we started, Rachel? It's going to be Colony Travel Agency. Colony Travel Agency. That's what we're calling it. Colony Travel. And the slogan is going to be Colony Travel Agency. But call us first. Because when you come with us, you're going to get a holiday that's affordable. We went to Disneyland last year, and that cost over $1,100 a piece. And really, we didn't have that much fun, to be honest with you. So this year, we taught ourselves this bar bus. We're going to see. 
and let's take some people on holidays that we think would be lots of fun. So Rachel, this summer what do we got? That Cooking. is Sea Alberta. It's a Sea Alberta. As a matter of fact, for $399, $399, you can see 21 colonies in three days with us on the bus. Yes. How many people can we well, take? Well, we can make oh, maybe 18 to 20 people. 18 to 25 people on the bus. So if you're looking for an affordable holiday, 21 colonies, three days, and if you really want to, we'll stop by the West Edmonton Mall, go to the water park. Yeah, I like that one. Show the people there. If this is a big successful, which I'm sure it's going to be, we'll, then... Yeah, we'll go to more places. We'll go Manitoba, Saskatchewan, down into the United States, and to Washington. Maybe we we'll go Montana to see them colonies, you know. They got them too. But that's, the bi that's our big dream for next year. The 1998 schedule has not been published yet. So we'll see it on the road. Call us right now. It's Colony Travel. That's 1-800-COLONY-TRAVEL. I want to go with you. And we'll uh, have your charge card. No, we don't take charge cards. No, just cards. cash, my gosh. Well, you know why we're taking cash? Because no. we don't want to pay the GST, and we don't mind saying that. That's right. Because pay cash. That's pay cash. If you think 399 is a bit high, make us a deal. We'll deal. We'll deal. Well, they could bring their own food. Good looking girl, eh? Yeah. I was barely ten years old when he got up from the table, said, Son, I've got a head on into town. But they say it's gonna rain, there's still a hundred bushels. Of seed that has to get into the ground And I said, Dad, there comes a time When a young boy has to grow I'm here to help you if you're in a squeeze And I saw him wink at Mama Tears filled up her eyes As he handed me the John Deere tractor keys And I went up and down that field Started rolling through my mind And I was dreaming of the day I'd up and walk away From those John Deere tractor keys I was 17 years old When I got up from the table Said Dad, I want to head off into town There ain't no future for me here I want to go where I'm still able It's time for me to go and break new ground And I said, Dad, there comes a time When a young man has to grow But I'll be here to help you if you're in a squeeze Well, he just sat and stared at Mom Tears rolled down her cheeks as I handed him the John Deere tractor keys. As I'd been up and down that field at least a million times. Now thoughts of green and pastures were rolling through my mind, and I've been dreaming of this day. I'd up and walk away from those John. Don't.